everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. I thought we'd round off the year with a bit of a, a look back at what we've done and a look forward to what's to come. Um, first and foremost, I guess we could go into the fish room and have a look at what the plans are for the fish room. 2020 has been a bit of a strange year for many people, um, not least a terrible year for many people um, for all manner of reasons. In terms of the channel and the channel growth, we've done pretty well here, but yeah, it's... It's been a, a challenging year. Um, I guess that's, that's very much putting the positive spin on it, but let me know what you think. How has your year been? Has it been a good one, a bad one, or something in between? But let's go and have a look in here and see what mess I've made this time. So we're back in the fish room. Um, if this is your first time here and you don't know anything about this, this is my garage, which I've converted into um, a little tiny mini fish room, so we've got a bunch of fish tank. In this tank here we have a bunch of angelfish. I think they're just normal silver, zebra, platinum, something along those lines, angelfish. They were given to me, oh, maybe six months ago now, as altum angels, but they're very much not altum angels. But nevertheless, they are still fantastic. Um, I, I can conduct them every now and again. They're quite um, playful fish. Um, they've been doing really well, I think they've just kicked off breeding. Um, I've come in a few times and found some strange goings on and that's why we've got this gigantic terracotta dildo in here. Um, that's actually a breeding cone, it's a discus breeding cone but it works for angels just the same. But I've come in a few times and I've found the snails, there's loads of um, Malaysian trumpet snails in here and I've found them all piled up in a certain area and no way of explaining it other than thinking that the angels have laid some eggs and then the snails are coming in, had them all. So I'll put that in there to see if we get anywhere. What I think is going to happen in the next year, and I'm going to make a few predictions for what we do in the next year here in the fish room, which if we get 50% of them right, I'll be very surprised. But I think what I'm going to do is get rid of this big tank. So this is a big, I think this is a four foot tank or a five foot tank, four foot probably, because um, there's a bit of space at the end here. Get rid of this and get a bunch of smaller tanks, um, have maybe one or one and a half foot tanks, that go back two foot and have maybe three or four, well four hopefully, stacked up so as I can get a few different, whether they be breeding setups, grow out setups, because I'm going to get into a few more projects and I just don't think I can afford this real estate here being taken up by this one big tank. So these fish may well go upstairs into one of my office tanks. Um, the tank, if you've been following along, that Humphrey currently lives in, he's my flower horn, because um, he's hopefully going to come down here. Uh, and these guys can go in a bit of a planted tank in my office um, because Humphrey does not tolerate plants and I would like to have a pretty tank in the office. Um, I can do a bit more aquascaping and have, I mean, they are just plain old fashioned angel, but they're quite nice angels, they're majestic almost. So I'd like to see these in a better setting. Uh, and then I can have more tanks in here for more types of fish. And then if we swing round to the other side, we can talk about these smaller tanks at the moment. Um, this is pretty much going to remain as is. So this is the smaller rack here, which is at the moment just guppies, guppies, guppies. These are my muck guppies, if you like. Uh, at the moment we've got the yellow muck guppies up here, the blue muck guppies and the red muck guppies. And then this one is just one of my uh, better fish up here. And um, he's just chilling out, living in that tank, a loving life. Um, on this uh, row down here, we've got the Blonde Blush Endler Guppies. We've got the Wild Guppies. Tiger Endlers. And Blue Star Endlers. And if you have a look at each of these tanks, they are doing really well. I could not be more happy, especially these two tanks here, the Blue Stars and the Tigers. There is a poop ton of babies in there. Absolutely loads, and they're coming on really well. Um, all different sizes of fry. There's even some that are only a couple of days old in there that I can see, as well as maybe a couple of weeks old, so, and everything in between. So they are doing really well. Um, I haven't noticed anything in the wild guppies yet in terms of fry um, and there is a couple in with a blonde blush but look at the colours on these guys 
So important to say that by the time this video comes out or very soon after, I'll be starting to list some of these on my website for sale so you'll be able to buy some of these. Um, oh, there is a baby in there. I just spied a, a baby wild guppy. So you will be able to buy some of these. I've not decided whether I'm going to put them up as pairs or as individuals yet. So let me know in the comments what you would fancy if you fancy some of these. And while the kind of COVID thing's still going on, we're going to do uh, very much priority only. So only the priority shipping thing because shipping has been an absolute nightmare for the last few weeks. Things that are getting sent first and second class are taking one to two weeks to get there. So we just can't do that. Um, and then down in this bottom one, down here, let me see, I've got a new gimbal for Christmas, so see if it works. Okay. This tank here, this is my Bristlenose Plico breeding tank, which I also have a, an overflow of the Blue Star Endlers in here. And then in this one is the overflow of the Blonde Blush Endlers. And again, a good few babies in this one as well. And um, these are the ones that I have bought in the last couple of weeks. Um, we've been calling it quarantine, but they're doing really well. These are the ones that got lost in the mail or delayed in the mail for almost a week. Um, no more deaths since the original bunch of them died off. Everything's been fine there. So I'm happy that everything's well. Everything's going to be well and nobody's too unhappy about anything in here. All these are really healthy. And again, the colours are coming up in some of these fish. Absolutely spectacular. I've been playing around with the lights here, so I'm uh, not keen on this light. It makes everything look a little bit yellowy. Um, but still, you can see the colours, they're great. So I've got a bunch of these in here that are ready to go, and a bunch of baby bristle nose that are ready to go. Um, this tank over here, if it shows us, this is, again, just an overflow of some muck guppies and some cherry shrimp that we've got going in there. Everyone looks happy as Larry in this one. And here we've got the pea puffers. Who are looking very hungry, actually. <laughs> They're going after my finger. And they could use a little feed, so maybe we'll give them a feed shortly and look out for that. Over here, um, nothing at the moment. This is empty, waiting for new ideas. Uh, down the bottom here, we've got one of the new tanks. It's apologies for the fish boxes. I'm kind of trying to move everything around. Just got some Daniels in there, keeping things going at the moment. Um, so nothing really in there. And then this one down here, this is the next tank to get replaced. And um, this is just a three foot tank here, but it's only a foot wide. So it's quite a lot of wasted space to the back of it. Um, and again, it's just got one random guppy in here, a bunch of cherry shrimp and a bunch of bristlenose plecos. So the plan for this tank is that this goes away, either becomes a sump or maybe just goes in the bin. It's served me, out, served me well, it's full of holes that are all patched up everywhere. So it's a tank that has done its duty, it's time for it to be retired and get something that fits a bit better in here. So I can get something that goes all the way to the end here, right up to this tank, right the way to the back. Gives me kind of 200 litres or just over 200 litres if I can get the right size tank. But the only one I can find at the moment is about 200 quid, so it's quite an expensive endeavour. Um, but when I talked about Humphrey getting replaced by the angels upstairs, this is the tank that Humphrey would come into, well, the bigger version of this. Just gives him a lot more space to get in and around and he can be a bit of a star of the fish room. Um, so yeah, that's kind of generally the plan. I just need to get over this whole lockdown situation then we can start doing something about it. So as we wrap up the year, it's kind of making me think what do I want to get out of next year? So like I say, I'm going to change a few things around in the fish room and I want to get more tanks in because I want to get more fish and hopefully start selling more fish. But I'm going to do it slightly differently. And I know I always say I'm going to do it slightly differently to everyone else. But it's not because I think I've got some great business idea of how to make my millions here. It's more about, I'm going to keep the fish that I want to keep, and I'm going to sell the fish that I want to keep. Um, and much like they say, you should never, uh, what is it, drug dealers should never get high on their own supply. I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to keep the fish that I want to keep and sell them off and hopefully breed them and sell them off. Um, and that's kind of gives me that excuse to keep them. Um, so even if I am a terrible salesman and I don't manage to sell any of these fish, it's kind of all right with me because then I get to keep the fish that I want to keep. 
um, which is why I want lots of smaller tanks and I'm going to get into discus, I'm going to get into the corridors. I like the endlers so I'm going to keep getting endlers, I like guppies so I'm going to keep getting guppies. But I want to try some new stuff as well that although I have kept them, I haven't kept them in any great bulk so maybe get lots and lots of pea puffers and see what a really big shoal of pea puffers is like because when I've gone from keeping two or three of them together to keeping six, seven or eight of them together the, the interaction between them is so different, it's, it's such a difference you can see there. So maybe what's 20 or 30 going to be like? Um, the Celestial Pearl Danios, all, all these other fish, companion fish for discus, whether it's tetras of one description or another, and get some of them in and, and I can supply them to you as well. Um, because 2021 has to be a bit better than 2020 and as much as 2020 was a success for me in terms of getting into selling my own fish food and that kind of thing I want to take it to the next level and um, you guys really helped me out by getting me to that 10,000 subscriber mark so let's see how far can we get next year 15 20 even more um, oh, to dare to dream <laughs> I don't know how far we can take this thing but I've really enjoyed the YouTube part of the year. The rest of the year, not so great, and I know it's been hard on a lot of people, but let's see what we can do a lot better next year. So hopefully you guys will be around with me, and if this is your first time here and you like this kind of thing, click that button down there that says subscribe, or there, I'm never sure where it is, but wherever it is, click it, because it really helps me out, and you can see how we get on in the next year. Um, I'll try and get another live stream in in the next few days if you're watching this when it's just come out keep an eye on the channel and uh, click that notification bell and you'll be told when it's happening um, and we'll have a, an end of year live stream or a start of year live stream uh, and we'll see how we got on with that but again thank you very much for following with me so far uh, and for all those subscribes and likes and comments and everything let me know how your year's been down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one bye